All right, so today we're testing Steel Stick by JB Weld. I don't have much faith in it, and I'll tell you why. The other day, I started setting these things up, and I put it between the two pieces, and it set for two days. Didn't hold. Literally fell apart as I was drilling these holes here. So what I did is I went back and drilled holes in each piece, so when I pushed it through and squished it together, I would actually have some material run out on each side. So hopefully we'll see how that does. I also did some 90s. So I did aluminum 90. But here's the bad part is I did a steel one and I literally just dropped it uh, from about, you know, four foot here, three foot, four foot. And it completely came apart. And as you can tell, I mean, it doesn't really, maybe you can't tell, but it doesn't seem to bond very well. I mean, uh, I mean, I could probably honestly break this part off by hand like so. So we're going to see how actually putting the holes in there actually does. So for that, I have this little meter. I want to see just how much we can actually pull on it. Now, I have so little faith in this that I'm literally going to pull it by hand with my vise. So I'm going to set you up where you can see the scale and we can go back and review to see what pressure we get at before it fails. All right. So up first, we are going to test out the aluminum angle since I've already broke the steel and I'm like, all right, let's do the angle. Let's get it over and done with. Let's see what we get on this one. Yeah, let's uh, let's review the footage on that and see. We only hit a whopping 4.74 pounds with this, which isn't nothing. But as you can see, now this one, I did it intentionally unscuffed just to see. But uh, yeah, not uh, not good so far. So let's uh, let's try the aluminum to aluminum flat. Let's see what we get there. everything re-zero everything gonna move you up just a little bit all right so Good news is I can't break that by hand just yet. Let me put a bar in here so I can get not pulling on my fingers. All right, let's go again. Holy moly. All right. I'm really going to try to get some leverage on this thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, that didn't feel good. Ugh. Yeah, that was a big fail. Hey, we found the breaking point. Woo! All right, so where do my pieces go? You ever seen a 260 pound man go flying in the air? That's me. So, I don't think I broke this. I think I just um, knocked the batteries out. Hopefully. I mean, it literally is brand new. Do, 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 do. Oh, like a dream. We're still good. 
So hopefully I caught that. You know, that really made a huge, huge difference by um, simply really putting the holes there. So I just put two holes on each piece. And you can see how it pulled them apart. So honestly, that was more impressive than I expected. So we're going to change up a little bit on the next one. Holy moly, 289.58. I'll be honest, that is way more impressive than I initially thought. When I did this test the other day, I started putting these things together without the holes in it. I was like, man, this stuff is not going to work. But then I was like, well, let's just try putting the two holes to give it some locking tabs, locking pieces. That's pretty, pretty impressive, to be honest. <laughs> well, I just watched back the video of uh, my big fail that I just had. And, uh, you know, there's not to be some blurry in there because I'm telling you, it was uh, not pretty. But, hey, I found the breaking point, And, honestly, I am surprised. I mean, that was strictly just aluminum. And uh, aluminum to aluminum and basically added two holes to each piece. The other day, I was very disappointed when I just, you know, which I know that there needs to be some, some scuffing normally. But I just, you know, I just want to see. I mean, it barely held. This... This was way more impressive and uh maybe i'll get a laugh at me you know busting my rear end uh so yeah let's start the next one all right next setup we are getting safe ish come on who wants to be safe <laughs> All right, then we're going to clamp this in here like so. So now the only challenge is I've got to figure something to hook up to that for me to be able to pull. All right, so I found this. We're going to drill out this hole so this can get attached to that and we can pull on it. So let me grab a drill. Well, that didn't take much. Hold up. We're going to stop it right there, ladies and gentlemen. This test is over and done with. So this test, unfortunately, once I started trying to use the hydraulic press, failed attempt. It just had too much pressure too quickly to make this work. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back and do this test. We're not only going to try the steel stick. We're going to try some of the other JB Weld products, the water weld, the other... Uh, what else they've got? The plastic well, which is coming up in another video because yours truly broke this gimbal. And I used some plastic weld on it, and I'm not going to lie. It's pretty impressive. So, at least so far. I mean, I've been using these things for a couple days now, and it's saved me uh, about 180 bucks at least. So, hey, we'll take it. But stay tuned. We're going to come back. We're going to do this better. We're going to do it more controlled, a lot better. And hopefully... I'll have my good scale fixed and I'm just going to go ahead and spend the 300 or something dollars for the load cell that I need, but I'm going to go ahead and do it and uh, yeah, so stay tuned.